OG. And I remember the Monkey King, like, juked her on the tree, right? And he couldn't, it was, I don't know, it was fun. Right? I, I could be wrong. Was it not Team Secret? Might have been. Ace played Lunas yesterday. Ace played Luna then, too. Ten There's a lot of Lunas then. This last pick is super important, not just, you know. Who's it going to be? Five I mean, seconds remaining. great question, but it's certainly the cinch here for VP. They have a lot of things to set up, they have a lot of things to move around, but they don't have the power. So, well, they have a full minute still, so you better keep talking. I mean, I'm not trying to buy time. I'm just talking about the situation here. No, I think they need range damage. I mean, you have an Ogre Brew Monkey King. I mean, you could just pick another melee, but do you really want to fight four melee into a Naga? You set up a sleep, you get a guaranteed arrow. You get a guaranteed Luna ulti. I think you need some sort of... Okay, oh, there's the most geez, ranged of the heroes. All right. Wow, called it. Nice, go me. And that's going well, to be sniper middle against Marana. That's it's not bad. That's good for the sniper. All right, well. Right? Uh, Isn't think, that an easy win for the sniper? I think they still have a lot of catch for a sniper, but I really like it. Yeah. So, uh, is this a 2 over VP? Because it looks pretty good for them. God, I've been, I've been a little bit off these last few games here, but I, I really like VP's draft. I like the Naga. Don't get me wrong, I like seeing the change, and it is puppy Naga, but... I think VP, the sniper, and the monkey king are going to a ton of farm this game. Chiefs, I need you to go first. I need a couple but more seconds. They do have net plus arrow and sleep plus arrow, so that'd be cool. Yeah. Careful. I mean, I really think that if the early game is not going the way of Team Secret, then, then Virtus Pro is going to run over them. But if if Secret can get a couple of kills early, mm -hmm. uh, I still I th think I think Virtus Pro is going to take this one, you guys. No, I don't go Secret, even though I don't think it's a good Omni Night game. I think that's their weakness is the split push. So I'll be going for Secret on this one. All right, well let's find out uh, how it's going to go down with Odie Pixel and Fog for game two. Thank you very much. Your final game of the day now: Secret versus Virtus Pro. We've had some fantastic games today. Yeah, and we have. This one hopefully looks to be another. Uh, again with the drafts, VP. We've got the sniper to finish off. It feels kind of strong. They do yeah. have this dazzle monkey king that can be very hard and very scary to fight into. Uh, but overall, there doesn't seem to be any sort of glaring mismatches like the storm into AM this time around for the secret. They should definitely have a better chance, I feel, than game one this time. Yeah, just think that, you know, we've seen this time and time again, the solo ogre with that. the no one sniper. You even called it. You're like, oh, they're picking sniper. So it's we've seen this time and time again. Solo sits mid. He gives no one a dream lane. And we've seen what no one does with that, especially when he's playing the sniper. And they also have the new Monkey King who moves at 380 movement speed when he's a cur. Look at him zoom across the floor. Look how fast. And they have good interactions. So they have these two steroid kind of abilities that work really well with Monkey King and Sniper, both the Bloodlust as well as the Weave later on. And uh, the other interaction is, of course, the Brewmaster versus Omni Knight. Being able to dispel that Guardian Angel is going to be a big factor here that I'm going to be looking for. I find here on the travel secret. Will oh. they find the Monkey King? He's hiding. He is indeed. Mafada could have a pretty hard time in this top lane because they have a lot of chase with the uh, Poison's Touch from the Dazzle as well as the right clicks from the Monkey King with that Orb of Venom. They spot him. See each other. And they get the catch on him. Oh! He has to be careful. He does, yeah. Can't come anywhere closer to Yap. He's heading out of there. The rune trades. And I like this new item build that you can do on the Brewmaster in the offlane with that gauntlet because it builds up into the urn now. Mm-hmm. Extra bit of strength. Yep. It's always nice. Great stats for you to get. So uh, this is uh, swapping the lanes around as well, I guess. We're just trying to take Ramses away from the aggressive try lane of secret. Pata caught a quick glimpse of Solo there. And Solo looked like he wanted to go for this a career snipe. So yeah, lane swaps coming out, yep. as you mentioned. Luna's trying to dodge out the Monkey King. But... They got the lanes anyway. They ran the Monkey King all the way bottom. The Luna versus Brew. Solo <laughs> just throws an Ignite on Fada behind the two, two tower. Okay. Force it's getting hot. Where's the Tango? And now Solo smokes. He's going to look for the curtain anyway. There's a circle drawn by Yavso though. He knows this is up. So rather than Solo starting in the mid lane helping out no one, it is Puppies helping out mid one. Will the courier deliver anything? I highly doubt it. Solo still going to wait patiently. Lane swap happens. They really do not want to have that Omni Knight versus the Monkey King. He goes toward top. We're going to see Ace more than likely port bottom so that he can not have to deal with that matchup there. You know, put some Harash Mount there. See Poppy? 
No, he's on to Lil. Lil doesn't even hit him. He just literally walks right by him. He's like, nope. Keep on walking. Yeah, he's just gonna TP. Bye bye. To the top lane. To join that through for now. Yep. So that's then we'll see another lane swap. We're gonna see these musical lanes coming out. Ramses. Does he TP top? He does. He wants to play versus Omni Knight. And Brewmaster ports bottom. As we expected, you know, they really want to get that lane matchup. The yep. Monkey King versus Omni Knight. Pot of really struggles there. Not a lot that he can do is this loan on the. I mean, at the least, just make sure that he doesn't feed. I take Once there's a few levels on ramps, he's, even that gets hard. Yeah, especially like if you get hit by a poison touch and you're too far up, you're pretty much just going to get chased all the way to your tower and die because of that re reamplification of the poison touch per hit. Mid lane, solo has arrived, starts throwing the ignite and helps out no one to do even better in that matchup, which he already was dominating. 8 and 4 versus the 3 0 of the Mirana. Greater animation coming out from the sniper. Yep, sir. On bounty collection. Solo grabs an arcane. Can keep up the arcane, the uh, ignite spam in span the mid lane. Bash. Reach back into the hands of Puff. Get a decent amount of harassment out. Got the net. And they're just bullying Pasha here back away from this, this bottom lane and trying to get all the space in the world for Ace on his Luna. Aaron the big creep, Midwind's trying to get where he's can, but Solo is still in the area. Being... Being Solo! Actually, I think I'm just gonna name that. This is what Solo... This is Classic. literally what he does. Yeah, Solo Ogre. With the Arcane Wind, this is just pure efficiency right here with the right clicks. He's got another Ignite in two seconds too. Midwind, got a leap. He's got two more. And he's forced back to base. There is a bottle on the Courier though for him, but it looks like it's running to Fada first. It's that bottom now, Pasha taking a lot of damage here with the right side minus armor. Could be actually a kill here. Hey, he's got no TP. Else around him. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your first blood. Ace gets the touch as well, so even sweeter for Secret. Yeah, a lot of damage coming between that Lunar Blessing plus Riptide interaction. Fada now running from top lane toward the mid lane slash bottom lane. He knows he cannot stand up there versus a Monkey King and Dazzle. And look at this mid matchup. 21 it's, 10. I mean, just just another day in the office for no one sniper. Eight, bro. Featuring Solo Ogre. And it's a free farm Monkey King as well, in comparison, yeah. while the, you know, the Brewmaster does put a little bit of frust frustration for the Ace Luna. You know, you throw the Drunken Haze from a distance. There's a couple CS that have been missed for sure by Ace, and as well as when they went there for the kill. I mean, how does this Marana get back into this game? It's so hard. It really does feel like that. Some rotations with the smoke, but they have to switch I mean, now. Yes, but... Omni Knight has to go bottom. Luna has to try to go top. They have to babysit him up there. Yapsor finds out Lil. He's got the lift, and Ace is holding the Lunar the beam as well, so Lil cannot TP out. And they get an easy pick off there. Down bottom. We're watching a bit more action as Puppy. Again, gone on by Pasha and Solo. Looks like he hasn't got quite enough damage. Puppy will get out of there. As he buys himself through the tree line. In fact, Fado with the run down, looking to make the return fire. Mid lane, no one. Oh no, they tried to dive for him. Mid one. Oh. He's running. He's going to look to kill himself. And he will do so. But the dive is unsuccessful. No one. It's a long so, He survives. And, and you know, mid one's out of the map. He's out of the game for 20 more seconds. Yeah. It's more time for no one to just continue to just absolutely own this mid lane. That's such a long death timer. Yep. At this point in the game, no one is gonna have, no one is gonna Oh, have... look at these body blocks. Mm. Nearly, nearly trying for something big there, though, with that haste yeah. ring. No one's gonna have a two level advantage soon at that mid lane. It's gonna be really problematic, especially when he picks up the raindrop. It's gonna be pretty hard for the Marana to go for any type of those kills. And Ace, it's a, it's a bit of an awkward position here because he's versus a free farming Monkey King and he has to contest here as a Luna, so he's at risk of dying if he steps too far up. He's got to have his supports consistently behind him. Yeah, so Fada at least will get will be a hero in the game. He's not going to just com get completely shut down. And that's the choice that they decide to make. All in all, overall, definitely. I mean, Fada's getting way more farm, though. Than he is, Posh. That, and that's sort of bringing secret to the point where they are still even in uh, net worth, but uh, definitely the mid lane, the, the big difference for now between the two sides. Yeah. Top lane, Solo's coming in with a wraparound, looking to create some havoc. But uh, Secret just turned their head straight towards him. He is beefy. We'll set up with the Fire Blast and Ignite onto Ace. 
The poison touch comes through. Ramses looking for the chase down. There's the boundless strike, setting up for the kill. Onto Ace. Solo still alive for now. Will fall. But VP get the two kills. Meanwhile, elsewhere, mid one comes in with a rotation, catches Pasha off guard, gets a crucial kill that will help bring mid one back up a little bit after a struggled mid lane. And Bloodlust at Monkey King is actually so ridiculous. That little bonus attack speed lets you build up those Jingu stacks so quickly. Whoa, that movement speed. Absolutely amazing having that type of steroid for this hero. DD rune top. We're going to see no one go get it. He has a range up to live with, but now Yapsor is in the vicinity. Puts down a lane ward as well, and there is Puppy there too, so maybe they try to go for something here on no one if he gets too ambitious. Yeah, Fado's farming quite well down here. And he was doing decent from that top lane, level 6 already on that Omni Knight versus level 4 Brewmaster. Arcane Boots will be finished up at a very nice time for him. Dire scan doesn't oh. catch Puppy. Puppy is on the sides though, but now no one does see him. And yeah, no one's got a D. Yeah, with that DD, you don't want to come close to that sniper. It's all popping out the strap, no push in the lane. So it's, you know, it's okay, they do actually get the lift. They're going to get the arrow follow up. They do. And with Riptide coming in from the back, Puppy. A lot of damage. Needs backup and he needs it quick. Is anyone on the way over? Yes, yeah, Solo Ramsey, he's trying to get back into the reach Aww. of Lil and he does indeed. The heal and the grave come out. He survives. Puppy hits the ground. And with the assassinate, they're gonna get more than just the one kill here. They should find everyone. No, he's able to get just out of range. The poison. Oh, poison touch. What a spell in 707. They keep it on him. No one does fall. But he Ace? Can't. Oh, Ace came in from the back and cleaned him up. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, wait, what killed no one? But I guess Ace, since he's unable to really lane top, he makes a far rotation and gets the boosting beam on that sniper. Okay. Ends up being decent for secret. Not great, but decent. Casual harassment here from Noah. Forcing that puppy. So it's, you know, it's great that they're getting their Omni Knight who's actually going to be able to have a game, but it's going to be the Luna who starts to suffer a bit because she doesn't really have a great lane to be in. Sure, she's got Eclipse now, but she's not really last hitting. Her net worth is decent, but it's it's about having being able to stay somewhere and have a lane that you can stand in. And I really do think she will struggle is whenever the rotations come from the supports on VP. The Fado 7, which he can start, I think he should probably just st start getting involved with his team with that max purification, 300 heal. It'd be very nice for them. Rotations moving from Dazzle toward top. Perhaps I was looking towards Ramses. I'm quite going to go for the grab. Still have the two of them. Even with the Eclipse, they'd have to get the perfect position away from the creep wave. But that's not happening for now. Ace is getting some space. Yeah, he's getting some He's getting some nice assets yeah. here with the support being there. But now as soon as Lil shows up with the Dazzle, he has to back back up. Mid lane. Root comes out. We go for the arrow. It connects onto no one. He is in a lot of trouble here. The TP is coming in. It's not going to be soon enough. Not in time. Big kills for Secret in this mid lane. As they've made it a couple of times, they've been able to bring down no one who had such a fabulous start in terms of CS. And now, bam. Look who's higher in the net worth. Mid one overtaking this yeah. sniper despite a very tough laning stage. Some better rotations coming out from Secret so far. VP's doing a more responsive responsive TPs, and every time that they show on the map in one lane, the secret strikes the other side. And now look, they see the Dazzle goes mid. They're starting to make their way toward bottom, looking for Pasha. With Puppy and mid one, they can easily set up for these arrows with the level two net. Just to watch out here. It does have split though. Just lying up, getting the rune fella, but decides against it, mid one is there. Oh, they see Ace with that ward. He tries to walk for the bounty rune, but yeah. I said something's up. Dazzle. Too risky to go for it. Lil had a very early level 6 on the Dazzle this game, as well as the Medallion. Some, like 9 minutes he had Medallion plus 6. Pretty impressive stuff, just being able to do that. So chain pulls with Dazzle. Yeah, the kill's certainly helping that he's been getting with that Poison Touch as we saw in mid. Yeah. Getting really involved in the action that VP have been bringing, but... Overall, slightly favorite secret seven for five. Yeah, they're, I mean, secret they're doing their cool. They're doing a good job of distributing it, distributing their wealth. Yapsor takes attack. mid, gets level six now from the Tome of Knowledge. Mid one was jungling during that. And yeah, like I was saying, the, the rotations from them have been just a little bit more crisp from VP, it does seem.
And now they're going toward top. They want to punish Ramses since he's having such a good game. It really is. That is the big kill. But it's a, it's a risky one as well. Can very quickly be turned around with the power of the Jingu and the Boundless Strike as we've seen many, many a game before with Monkey King involved. Especially they, with Lil around. They saw Lil though. And they saw him with the ward yeah. for a moment. And it looks like they might be able to get, get the grab here on Ramses. I see arrows Arrow coming well. in. Uh -oh. now look at the telekinesis into the arrow. There's no dazzle in range. Oh, and Yapso steals like probably one of the best roaming spells on Rubik, getting that tree spring. Oh, it's the tree. Tree dance and final spring. That no animation. Oh, it's so beautiful. Down bottom, I'll tell you what, Father's really giving it his all in this lane. He's having quite the time indeed. He's chasing down Pasha. Pasha's actually not got mana here for the primal split. Father. I mean, he is owning that bottom lane. GA is. TP's out. Gets the snipe though. Ooh, it does indeed. That, that's going to cause issues for Fada. I said that he still gets a purification off. Elsewhere, mid one did find the killer onto, onto the ogre. Fada continues to, and surely he can't get out of this when he can't. He will finally be taken down. But top lane, secret, they are reveling on the fact that VP have some of their players down bottom. They just pick up a double for mid one. They keep the pressure on. And Wrist rotations. It is indeed. And as I say, Fada is, he's been playing jolly good recently. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Ramsey's looking to to find that battle of fury as soon as he can. The recent events causing some some one worry here for Vitus Pro. Yeah, he's trying to get the battle fury so he can match the farm of the Luna. They also don't have the greatest wave clear on the side of VP, so he's gonna be able to he's gonna have to have that item to do that. They do see Ace farming in top. Maybe want to try to set up for something here. Pasha. Heavily punished, though. We've seen that a lot from the Brewmasters in these games. Zero, three, and zero. I mean, it's a 2k gold behind Father's Omni Knight. Radiant Quite the difference in the offlaners. The musical lanes seem to have worked out just a bit better for Secret Shadows. with those nice rotations from the two supports. And now Moonlight Shadow comes out. Yeah, mid one. So he's been playing perfectly considering yeah. the, the way that that lane went. Now he's top of the net worth. Six kills. I mean, we saw him earlier today when he had that jug game. He's, he's so good at getting involved and getting aggressive early on. And that's something that he, he would have probably got away with in the last game if there was an anti-match. But yeah. that Radiant's sort of put a stop to the way he was playing. Attack. This time around, there, there doesn't seem to be that sort of glaring hero that, uh, that can deal with this Miranus potency coming in and comboing with the Telekinesis Radiant's to get that insane amount of burst attack. damage out. Radiant structures are fortified. Top lane, they'll come in for the defense as VP. Trying for that tier one, the rest is secret. We'll get this tab. Pasha will try for the deny. Puts the fortification out first. No oh, he cuts the tree from Yapsor. He's oh, him. he does indeed. Finds the Rubik straight away. Yapsor's got a telekinesis for his solo TPing in. There's no escape for Rubik. And now Yapsor even pings the high ground. He's like, yeah. oh, he must have a high ground ward if he saw me jumping through the trees. But no, Pasha just got a, I guess got a glimpse of him for a quick second or something. But that was a very, very hasty Quelling Blade usage from him. Did it, was it denied? Did you say? Yeah, it was denied. Tower was denied. That's good man is for Ace. And uh, again, one of those games where there's a lot of equal farm on the city. You know, the top five heroes on the net worth being very close. Only Pasha to fall behind on his, his off-lane brew, as it is so far. Everyone else, they're getting the gold. No one is on par with with mid one or at least he was he's still slightly behind on that sniper yeah but it's very very close yeah pasha's just that big discrepancy and and solo but that you know that's just solo that's just so i mean this this downs out as well if if the game does turn into a bit of a farmathon you know who's happier this this lunar lineup or or this monkey king lineup the thing is that they both got really good ways of tools to farm. I feel, yeah, it feels like this, this is a game that will be close at all stages of, the, of, of you know, every team, both teams having their strengths in each part. I'd say VP, just because they have Bloodlust plus the Weave, and they have very good high ground defense with oh, the Sniper, it, actually, so it gets true. pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Secret though, if they can keep that speed of the game up with the Luna, with that farm going, they can definitely have a chance to top lane. Now Fada, in trouble, but Repel, TP out. He will live, and now secret. They are smoked up. They're gonna look for something here. Solo. He's gonna break the smoke. Hello. Jump forward. 
That's the telekinesis, they've got the grab. He may be a big old ogre, but there's more than enough magic damage from Secret. Yeah, sort of gets the dream steal though. Bloodlust has been stolen, so he can keep throwing that onto Ace for that farm. We'll look for the arrow. We'll quite find it. Ramses jumps down. They do know his position. He's trying to set up with the song. Can they find him though? It's a little tricky. I don't... They don't have the vision. Yeah, they don't really have any way of, of finding where he actually is on the tree line. As uh, he continues to jump up and around outside of the vision. Secret. It's a lot of space coming out. They get the blink dagger now on Pasha. So they did solo. They did kill solo, but that's this is solo's job. Tank those ganks for your teammates. Keep throwing bloodlust on your allies so they can just keep farming. But now, Ramses, he does jump down off the tree line. The net comes out. It oh. catches onto him. A turn around with a boundless strike. Can you get the tree jump? He no. Does not, and the, the damage is in. Stolen boundless strike comes back in return. They burst him down with a purification, and Ramses. Coming down to farm and pays the price. Fingers from Puppy. There is a lot of money on mid -ball. Yeah, he's got the defusal pretty much finished up, right? He's got 3,600 gold ready to spend. Yeah, if he wants to buy it, he does have enough for that item. Well, now they, they're able to press the top now, too. They're going to be able to almost take the tier 2. Mid one mid. To be a little bit careful here, Pasha engages in. He's got three leaps. Oh, he only actually does not have the three leaps up. That was the only one he has. Is enough damage? Oh, oh the, the second shrapnel. shrapnel. It was indeed just enough to bring him over the edge, but Secret do indeed finish off. That's his U Tower on top. He's got to be careful. All, most of his buddies just left that mid lane. He's trying to take out the tower. Fod is there. He does actually end up cleaning it up safely. He's Runs into Pasha. Pasha actually uses the split here. With the Dazzle coming in, Lil throws the weave. And Ramses is in position here too. They throw him up in the air. It's gonna be a big fight here. Yeah, well, we're still no one. It's looking pretty good for VP. Oh, 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 ding, ding, ding. Yeah, that's, oh, I forgot they'd use the sleep top. It's late. I was like, oh, he might just sleep and disengage, but no. <laughs> Derp. Nice play played there by Pasha to set up that weave. This is a combo we used to see. Uh, not only just Dazzle with the Brewmaster, but Ventral with Brewmaster. You yep. can throw that minus armor at a distance for the Panda split, and you actually have pretty decent kill potential with it. But yeah, with everybody there, of course they're going to kill him. And that's the Battle Fury finished up for Ramses now. And I believe no one, as you mentioned, has had the Maelstrom and another 3,100 gold. So he has highly accelerated. Yeah, this knife is looking scary. Yeah. And that's with them. They did manage to kill him a couple of times with the lane. The Axe is... 200 gold away from the one, so opting for the Ags rather than the uh, Diffuser Blade. Oh, okay. So, uh, a little bit of an interesting one. That I feel it's been a long time since we've seen a Marana go for the Ags. It's better now because you get the 12% spell amp. Okay. In the past, I think, it, I yeah. don't remember how, it was very low. I think it was, what, 6% or something very low before? It's Marana. Here we go. Once again, returns. I mean, as we've seen so far at this stage of the game, when the, there are no BKBs as such, it's early. The magical is doing a lot. Yeah, if they can get the stuns. They, I think maybe because they also like there's a weave, so he's like got a lot of the physical. I don't know. Maybe to, I don't know. Let's I mean, I, th I, th I think yeah, because there's a, that, and there's also the fact that during the Wukong's command, you know, you get that extra arm on the Monkey King, so just having every bit of magical. Yeah, that makes that does make yeah. sense. I mean, eventually they're gonna build BKBs on these heroes though, and that completely True. counteracts a lot of. Them. I mean, like everything that the Mrana is gonna go for here now. Rush, quick and early solar crest on Lil. They're able to bring this down with no problem here. Uncontested, Secret does not seem to be of any going here there. And that's problematic. Secret, who had some very nice rotations coming out early, it's been halted heavily from VP, just the nicer stance defensive. Bada has queued up Radiance. It's got four staff on top of Drum Arcanes. It's got the GPM talent too. I mean, if he can get it at a decent pace, and with the farm that he's getting, is, uh, it looks pretty good. BP's going for this like whole team fight kind of aspect, though, with like the Brewmaster going for the Vlads as well, just auras and just ways to buff up the Sniper as well as the Monkey King. Shadowblade going to be the next item of choice on Ramses. Arrow goes toward top and find Ramses. Lots of pings coming out from the amps are there, I believe, just... They're expecting Ramses to farm the next wave. They're setting up a trap for him. I mean, they certainly can. They have the Song of the Siren ready to, to use aggressively or defensively if things start to go south for Secret. Oh, quick uh, quick down, quick up. Nicely done by Ramses there. 
completing their movements. They also have a ward there, so they did see a couple of rotations coming out. Oh, they find Solo, but the arrow's already been thrown, and Solo knows that. Just TP's out straight away. Nothing that Secret can do to stop that. Ace just continuing the farm, and it is there. It really is. He's. This, I mean, again, this game is so close in farm. Yeah. Just as we say, that that 3k difference, it's literally the offlaners. Yeah, they just got the steroid. That's what like, we were talking about on VP, that weave plus bloodlust on the sniper and monkey king that'll maybe push them just a little bit over the edge, especially in the team fights. And a very f and a super farm dazzle, I should say, too. I mean, <laughs> that solar crest. But the secret supports are keeping up as well. It's all, like halfway to a mech on the Naga Siren plus medallion. Yapsaurus, of course, has the, I believe it's Yules finished up already. But they're weaved up. They're looking for a fight here. On the side of VP. They know, it seems like they know where mid one is. They did ping him out. Would be nice to, yeah, but he's got the three leap charges and the moonlight shadow. Yeah. Yapsaurus by his side as well. VP. Want to give the chase oh, the look of Fada, but indeed that force into the repel and TP out. Fada makes it away. Very, very quick reactions there from Fada and his Omni Knight. And it's a bit of a big steal, one that you don't see necessarily every day. And Rubik Yapsor will grab his hands on the Dazzle Ultimate. Yeah. It's a nice that one. That can be very nice in the fights versus that Monkey King. Try to reduce that armor down if he does get the OP off. No one gets the Talon Deny in the mid lane. BKB is next up for him. Sees that Ags and you know, realizes that yeah, if you can get that BKB soon, it's going to put a huge cap on mid one's damage potential in these fights. Yeah. Shadow Blade finished up for Ramses. Mm -hmm. Looking for the so yeah, it's gonna be the it looks like the full magic damage build on middle. He even goes for the blink, so maybe we'll see something like a Thero Blade and the like Dagons coming out for him next. If he does choose to go for it, just that full magic. I mean, it's it yeah, as I said, I think it's it can be seen as quite a good approach to, to specifically the Monkey King because a lot of the time as a Monkey King you don't really build stat items or or HP. You're you're all about the damage. Yeah, he does have the BKB of course queued up. Yeah, they, I mean they need BKBs versus yeah. Eclipse. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Whereas the Luna, it's very necessary. And yeah, like you said, they probably they saw the Agony on Mirana too. Top lane, they're going for a split push. They're going for that tier three. And on, they use the glyph to defend bottom and also to push top. Double Max efficiency there from Secret Fortification. But the push was still coming. They had to back up. This tier 3 is taking quite a bit of damage. But it uses Repel, stands his ground. Yaps for a mid one. Oh, there they actually start beginning to poke. At the solo, they drag him back. They bring him down. And in fact, Pasha oh my God, he almost died. only just gets the ultimate out. That was very, very close. But Ace is just cutting through these Brulings. With the Glaze, they have to sort of back off with the Primal Split. They cannot hang around for the fight. They'll go for the Wukong's Command, but Fada, he's already popped the GA. He walks it out of it, and with the Purification, he may just get himself away to safety. Repel, he's out. VP forced to back up and defend, but Secret, they just walk it off. Nicely done. They only lose Puppy. Puppy for solo, and they get a tower. Getting tier 3 tower is very important as a Luna, as we used to see at the Boston Major. You know, the Glaives can start going out of control there. But yeah, Pasha blinks in and almost dies because of that Rubik. Yeah, that was uh, very close. The Rubik lift stun that actually ends up dropping around top of him. And Bloodlust was stolen again by Rubik, by Yapsor, so we'll be able to buff up Ace to continue farming up very quickly. BKB is really needed for VP to take those team fights. A just gets reclaimed. No one is top. He's gonna start backing out though. Now it's far doing with his money. Oh, the VP, only. they're on the prowl. They find Ace. Yeah. Ace. That's a big one to catch out of the base. He gets the Eclipse off, but there's. Oh, yeah. oh actually, can they keep him alive? No. He does still fall. I was gonna say the arrow connects onto Solo. VP. Moving in for more, looking towards Puppy, but Pash is falling low. He does not have the Primal Split available. Mid one jumps in. They've got the root. They'll take down Pash. VP lose two. Maybe more. Yapsor moving forward. Oh, no one is there. Yapsor has to self fuels. It's getting a bit spooky. But at the same time, VP had to back off. Mid one and Pasha Fata chasing him down. Looks towards no one. They have the root. Do they have the damage? Fata trying to bring him, but the heals from Lil allowing VP to turn it around. Mip one jumps back in, does manage to get the double kill, as now it's a bit of a 1v1. Ramses versus mid one. Who's going to come out on top? No lead for 24 seconds. Looks like this monkey's going to get better Punch. of the cat lady. Goodbye, Triple for Ramses. That's the BKB done.
He is the lone man surviving at the end. Look at the damage done by that monkey. My. Scary for Seek. We'll see this one again here at just the end of it. I mean, mid one. Very nice little cleanup at the end of it all. As far as it goes, and it brings them low. The arrow catches Lil, but Lil ends up surviving, gets the secondary heal off, just ticks up no one enough to survive during all that. Very nicely done by them. But this monkey can get him vastly out of control, Ramsey's. Yeah, now with BKB, almost level 22 for that extra boundless strike crit, that's gonna start hurting a lot. And yeah, this might be one of the first games I get to witness the level 25 Monkey King. It's, I don't think I've gotten to see it on a pro game just yet. Even if there has been I swear, one, do we not see one? But... When he got 25 into the Wukongs? I don't think so. He's looking for Ace here now too. Oh, oh it's just, just a harass. Okay, do I mean, what, what, wait, what do the pros take anyway out of the two? Is it the, the 100 armor? Surely the 100 Dude, armor. Dude, 100 armor is 100, so absurd. 100 armor. <laughs> I guess. 100 What a number. Armor. It's like, ah, uh, 50? Nah, 100. 100 armor. Sorry. Be in some trouble here. Rest in peace, yeah. Goodbye. With the, with the bloodlust. Oh, that, that just looks horrible. I mean, the attack speed increased. The 60% yeah. bonus. It's oh. pretty absurd. Mid lane, the push coming in from VP as well. Onto this tier 2 tower. Father trying to push the way back out. No one does get rooted up. He's got the BKB though. They know they can't go for it. Back up from his team. Yeah, Pasha comes in straight away with the clap. They look towards Puppy. Puppy forced back. They've got the assassinate. Out it comes. The, the repel. repel there from Fade just in time. Nicely done. No one did pop the BKB because of that. I mean, at the, at the least they're still getting a good amount of damage to this tier two. But that moonlight, seriously, so could come re-engage. They were sort of thinking about it on the side of it all. But now Ramses has turned up. Solo tanks the arrow. Can they really do anything off the back of that arrow connection? They're trying. I mean, mid one jumps in. Graves there, just in time from Lil. Pasha moves in the midst of it all with the Primal Split. GA has come out as Fado and the boys back off, back away. Puppy sings a song. They're looking to set up. Looks like Secret do want to try and take this fight, oh. but Ramsey's. Valenus strikes out, catches onto mid one. He's up on the high ground, jumps down with the Primal Spring. Secret having to run. They're falling low. Stolen balance strike from Yapsor as he does keep VP back. Did you see that by Pasha too? He saw the arrow coming out. They're trying to do the sleep arrow coming. He tanks it with the Earth Panda. Oh, that's nice. So that they can't get the combo in. That was really well played by him. Quick draw. No yeah. one, no one going down. I mean, they, they get the tower. Everyone lives. It's quite a win there for VP for sure, because it's the sleep was used, the Guardian Angel was used, and Secret was unable to find any kills off the back. Well, there's of a lot of money again on Ramses. Rush will be respawning in one minute, so they're a little fortunate with that. If it was if it had just spawned right away, that would have been very unfortunate for Secret. And yeah, like you said, Ramses level 21, another 4K gold on him. What's he getting next? Okay. I'm trying to think. I mean, does he does he still like go back for the defusal? Just for the for the damage I know it's a little different now. Oh, mid lane. Bada, in some trouble here. Bound the strike stun, holds halt Ramses. They may look to just continue to chase this. I think Ramses can just go for butterfly. I think butterfly. The, I think yeah. that's the best build up. I was thinking if he could like, MPB okay. maybe could be decent, but I think butterfly is just the best versus the Luna. Or maybe he just goes for stats since he sees that the Mirana is going for stats. I mean going for like this magic thing. Oh, Ramses again just Really miss clicking those he's, a lot. he's done that, yeah, a couple of times today. Solo in a spot of bother. The uh, the arrow will be dodged. And in fact, with the heals for Lil, can they get him back to safety? It looks like they might do so. Mid one, they're going to chase. And of course, mid one, indeed, as you he anticipated. Went for the F -blade, yeah. It, F -blade it, with magic damage build. But those BKBs are there, so. Yeah. He can kill the supports really quickly, though. Sure. If he can find, if he can find Lil in the back, back lines. But Lil has already preemptively built a hood to kind of deal with that. And what item is it going to be for Ramses? Was he anything delivered? No, no. I think maybe he's still deciding to. Blink Dagger. Out for Yapsil. Mm -hmm. Been making some cute little steals so far this game. And as we see, Secret did have the lead. But okay. Just buys a... Ram. Looks like it's just a full S and Y for Ramses. On top of that Bloodlust, okay. so he can have that max movement speed and chase. Yeah, very hard to take down. And some stats. Absolutely. They've seen yeah. the F Blade okay. on uh, the Marana and having something against that nuke. As well as the BKB, of course, I guess just when it's unavailable. He's going to get the 100 armor anyway from the Wukongs. Yeah. Not really too concerned with getting that whole physical resistance, but Butterfly's still a really nice item. But this is this is just great with the Bloodlust interaction. It's going to be very speedy. 494 movement speed under the Shadow Blade. So what Mibon can do with this 
magical build. Just looking for no one here. Oh, there we go. There's the combo. But actually, is he going to live? He's got him. Ooh, that leaper allowing him to get those final touches for him. Fat mid one. He's going to get both of them here. Cleans them up single-handedly. Damn. Mid one? Making Magic Marana work in 2017, quite an achievement. And they're going for Roche now after that. Ramsey does find mid one here though. Starts to slap into him. There's the E-play, but BKB's pop. Ramsey's is not messing about. Wants the kill, gets the kill. Telekinesis to hold past here back, but he jumps forward. Looking for Yapsor. The... They're sleeping to finish off the Roche. They're gonna be able to get it. That's Aegis and Cheese. Gonna be grabbed up here. I mean, Pasha sent his main brewling into the midst of it all. They sure they can turn and fight him after that wears off. I mean, I guess he's going to look to, to blink out. They're bringing the brulings very, very low. And uh, can they stop the blink? They can't. Pasha's quick with it. Does manage to get himself away. Ace looks to chase, but they're already out of there. But still, yeah, this is secret. Getting those big objectives. Puppy picks up the gem. They're going to look to try and take the map back. I'm glad Fada decided not to go for Radiance. He went for Shiva's instead. High physical resistance here. Oh, Telekinesis. They put Ramses. He doesn't have BKB. They're using the Eclipse, bringing him down. Shallow graves out. But Ramses, can he actually survive through this all? Ace forced forward onto the front of it. Gets solo. Lil has to back off. No one now turns up to the fight. Turns towards Ace, trying to finish him off. But he has the buff from the armor. No one, not quite enough damage to finish off Ace. Repels there as well to protect him from those lightning procs. Self fuels by Yapsor. Turns again. Secret keeping each other alive. It's getting a little crazy indeed. 2170. Got level 20 on Sniper. We're not running level. So 23 on Monkey King, 23 on Marana. And then 2019, 18. Across the board on Sniper, Brewmaster, and Luna. So Ace queuing up the BKB. Who got the cheese in that last one? Did they actually have to use I think it? I have already used it. No, uh, Puppy has it. Oh, no, Puppy. Okay. Yeah. Ramses. One shot in the creep wave. Yeah, level 24. Scheduling. Okay. So no one queues up the MKB for himself, preemptively yeah. expecting Luna to go for Butterfly soon. We'll help a little bit for that. We can get it. And what's mid one going for after the Earthblade? Just going to be Boots of Trouble. He, he does have the Dagon. He is oh, he's go got the Dagon. So he did do the build that we expected. The full Radiant's magic damage oriented build. To go for that burst. It is a lot of burst damage now with that 12% spell amp. But VP, they want to wait out the Sages. Or they want to try to go for an engagement here. Pasha going for the AC next after the boots of travel. Going for just the aura build as expected. How's Solo doing? Oh, poor Solo. 1800 net worth. He's got brown boots. He's a walking bloodlust. That's all he needs to do. That's it is. How much it makes a difference. Some levels would be nice on him though. Sure. If he can ever get that level 20, that plus 40 blood like bloodless attack speed is very potent, potent, but it doesn't look like he's going to get it. He's only level 11 this game. Waiting here for Secret. And the thing is, is as you mentioned earlier, despite how well Secret are doing in terms of now gaining this lead, high ground push is going to be another thing coming. Yeah. So hard against this monkey king sniper. Yeah, you, if you overstep your bounds, you can just get wiped very easily by that Wukong's command. And it's almost level 25 on the Monkey King now. Shrines are available to kill, though. So they did already take out that top shrine. And now they're going to be going for the bottom one. They were pinging it out at least, but doesn't, they don't feel too safe just yet. Ace, picking up the full butterfly. Has disassembled the Mask of Madness for that as well. Everyone has got that goal for the bots. And Ramses does queue up the butterfly as the last item. Dyer's bottom shrine kind of is under attack. It's relatively close to that as well. Mm -hmm. As you say, shrine's just being taken by Team Secret. Dyer's bottom shrine. All about that high ground push. We may see them have to go for some sort of aggressive sleep play. Even you know, just get to the to get to the back lines. Got a pretty decent advantage now after yeah. all that like the Roche 
as well as the double. Pretty much all of this played out because the double kill from mid one in the top lane, leading them to get the rush. Yeah, mid one made swing of momentum. such such brilliant rotations this game, and and so far the magic build has paid off. Yeah, yeah. it really has. But we'll see how it scales and see how this this game does continue and see if Secret are able to break this high ground of Virtus Pro. Not going to be easy, that's for sure. Ramsey's 25 actually takes the plus one Wukong's command ring. Okay, interesting. So he wants... I wonder if they fixed that because it was before... It was bugged, it, wasn't it? Yeah, it didn't actually fill fully out with the with enough uh, Wukongs in, uh, in positions. I guess but, maybe uh, he thinks with like Butterfly and everything he'll have enough armor to deal with it. But oh, he's actually switching it. All right, he's going for Nullifier on Monkey King. Okay. I mean, what we're... It's, it is an incredible item. You nullify someone in the midst of the Wukong's command. They're not getting out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can use anything to save the consistent slows. Pasha top. Mid one's going in for him. Split comes out. It's forced by mid one. It's going for him though. But now this is Pasha getting surrounded by everyone on the side uh, of Secret. I don't know if he can get out of this one. They're hot on the chase. Yapster's going to look for the steal here too. That could be a really big play if they do, aren't able to get that Brewmaster steal. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, oh that was neat. Cyclone. That was very nice. Very cyclone. nice indeed. Sending up the river with the cyclone to make sure he doesn't get the steal. Of course, Pasha will still go down. Yeah, yes. And so he steals the drunken haze. So at least being able to minimize that effective loss. But it is still a brew down for 60 seconds. That's still quite major. Another fire indeed complete by Ramses. See how this comes into play in this defense. This could be a good time for Secret to force it. Having the numbers advantage and look at the, the speed that yeah. they take these racks down. Fortification comes out from VP. Puppy actually being peeped by the sniper. <laughs> Solo. Oh my god, no one was netted up and Solo just runs into the arrow. He's like, no. Oh. Three levels of Dagon just being picked straight up. By her, maybe, that is an incredible amount of burst. That's very scary. I'm level 24 on. Next Crete wave round two. There's no fortification. Can VP stop this? I think Secret may... Oh, 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 oh. Mib blows up solo with the Aegis X-Blade. Aegis is dead, though. Hang on. The Aegis got... The Aegis is gone, and they just able to stun him and clean him up with no one around. The here that no one... Are, these two hit out an incredible amount of physical secret on the run. They'll pop the song. They'll go for the TP out, and they should make it. Oh, you know what else you can do, too? The Nullifier versus Cheese. He can nullify so you can't pop it. Oh shit! I don't know if you it happened. No, yeah, you're. I don't know if that happened just there. I'm not too sure, but no, I think you're that, right. That's still that pretty hilarious. Probably is what happened. I mean, he got stunned up from the boundless strike though, and then he got followed up and just killed quickly by no one. But I never thought either way, I'd see the day we nullify cheese. Okay, you that's cool. You can't eat the cheese. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That's, that's hype. I mean, very back in very close game. It's 11k gold lead and 7,500 experience lead for Secret, but no, VP still has the gold on the heroes that need it. Yeah. They have it all on the Monkey King as well as the Sniper. And Pasha already has almost everything he needs. AC is going to be the next one, next big item for him. And, and they just go for the split on the What they do? There's 20 seconds, no ace. Fortification comes through. VP ready to push. No one for the low ground hitting into that. Ramses does have the Wukong come on if they want to take a fully fledged team fight. It doesn't look like they need to at the moment. They'll get themselves to tier three. Are they going to go for the racks? They're still standing the ground for the moment. But looks like they, they will back up mid. One jumps forward, gets the Ethelade onto Solo. Can they burst him down? Dagon as well, bringing the Ogre down low. But look at this boundary strike into the Wukong's command. Ramses comes through, able to catch out Puppy. Naga Siren down for 50 seconds. That is massive. I didn't realize how big the Wukong's oh, command is. Oh, it's big. <laughs> it's big indeed. So the other thing that we uh, overlooked as well is that Nullifier does dispel the target too. So he can remove yep. Guardian Angel with that too. So that's oh. the other thing that we were kind of overlooking a little bit. Oh, that is true. It's, I was sitting here trying to think it's of like, a powerful what the best light. thing about Understandably it. Understandably so, it's an expensive one as well. 38, you're having to get that relic to build it up. But we'll see again. It, the Nullfire didn't even hit him yet in time. So oh, okay. He, was, he actually just got bursted down too quickly. I think he was trying to do He just didn't him. get the chance. Yeah. I think the Boundless Strike just did like 35% of his health and he didn't expect that. Yeah, that's just Monkey King things. Yeah. Time. Out for Pasha. How's he doing on the levels on this spray? Level 20 now. Level 20 now. 1500 health for that Primal Sprit. If he can get to 25, I mean, that we've seen this minus 65 second cooldown on the Primal Sprit before. It's 
It's pretty crazy. You've got what, 15 second downtime? If my math is working right now, it is. But 15 seconds? Yeah, it goes, it's it's 100 second cooldown, minus 65 to 40. Oh, 25, sorry, math is. Math is right. What? Is it 20 it's... second duration? And it's oh, minus 65. Yeah. Wait. Wait. That is... No, you are right. It was 15. I was just tricking you. Yeah, see, yeah. damn it, Owen. <laughs> it's late, guys. Come on, give us a break. It is. It's like 4 a.m. here at the moment. It's not. Don't give us. <laughs> we're just we're just bad casters. Moonlight Shadow comes out. Yapsor has to be careful. Oh, I'm on the high ground. Yeah, here. straight up, secret. Hello, Ramses. surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Ramses, you got to buy back straight away, boy. Instantly picked off there. They, I said we were getting sleepy. Maybe VP as well. They just sit around. They were not expecting a Moonlight Shadow like that. And now Ramses, he will get the kill on Tafada. Takes out the Omni Knight on the side of it all. The rest of Secret probably want to back up, but the control's there. They throw Ace up into the air. They pop the song. Still that Earth Panda with the magic immunity going to work. Solo will be bursted down on the sidelines. They're trying to chase. Can they get the catch? It doesn't look so. Secret will be able to get away. But that is Ramses' buyback being forced out. If they can make a play whilst that buyback's unavailable, Secrets certainly have potential to end the game. We saw how quick they can take the Brax yeah. with that uh, Luna push. So there's now seven minutes that are a little bit on edge for VP. Triple arrow, Ramses. Oh, he actually jumped oh. into one of them. Mid one's going for it with the Dagon. Oh, 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 the, the BKB. BKB! Oh my god. If that won the game, <laughs> which it very well could have. The if triple that... arrow, man. I mean, it, it is so good against the Monkey King for just how much vision and coverage. You don't normally expect to hit the arrows, but yeah, you get a lot of vision from them, of course, finding him in those trees. He leaped into it. He was trying to dodge it by jumping, but the jump actually hit directly into the arrow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's getting kind of crazy, getting kind of late. VP, they're going for the smoke up. As I said, it's, if they the lose refresher. Ramses... Refresh your shard, baby. Oh, who do the we give this to? Who do we give this to? Who, who, who wants this? I guess, I mean, Ramses is going to want to have the Aegis. Maybe they want to give him the shard as well. Let's see. He gets the Aegis. Who's getting the shard for now? Pasha. Pasha, okay. Second well, brew split. Double brew split. It's, good. It's, 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 done. it's a pretty good ult. I mean, there's, there's no sort of amazing spell on VP's lineup that... That's, the, that's by far the best. I mean, that, that, is, that is the best. Unless they wanted to do double weave. Oh, it stacks, doesn't it? It does stack. It does stack. Give that... <laughs> give it to Lil. Come on. Mid right, here we go. No on. one gets the BKB off in time. Graves there as he backs away. Falls low. We'll be here back up to fall with the cheese, but they've lost solo. Ramses, he's falling low. He's got the eight. Just ready for round two. They put the Moonlight Shadow, Pasha jumps forward. Here comes the first Primal Split. Turns towards Puppy. Balance strikes down, but the GA from Fada. Dispels it. They're continuing to chase. They look for Puppy. Tries to get the song out in time. Have they got enough stun to stop him? He's trying his best. He gets it off. But Ramsey finds the BKB. The Wukong's command. The plus one reaching to the edge. Not quite enough control and damage to take Puppy. They're looking to chase him. They do find the stun. Pasha jumps in with the bling. The clap is out. But now Ramsey's he has to get out of there with that Shadow Blade. Refresher tries for the second promise hit, but he did not have the mana. He had to pop the Soul Ring in order to have the mana for it and actually ticks him low enough to get him brought down. Oh, Ramses, you've got to run, boy. You've got to run, but you... Oh, Rubik! Yapsor! He's caught him! Into the, Into arrow. the arrow! He's bursted down! That's the monkey down for 120 seconds. That... Could be pretty bad for VP. They have no one alive. <laughs> but it ain't great. Yapsor celebrating shatner. with the stolen shrapnel. That little grab... May... Caused a lot of issues. No one gets shot. He gets the BKB. Graves out onto him just in time. Turns towards Puppy. Puppy getting peeped. The sniper will get the kill. Looks for Fada. And oh yeah, with a rock to the face. Omni's down. They're able to buy the time. No one are mid. That is. What I mean, Ramses is going to be able to respawn now in about 80 seconds. Can the secret try to push the issue? I don't know if they can. I think that defense may have just done it. We're seeing the power of the sniper when it comes to high ground. Dude, but he almost gets bursted instantly. I feel I like he needs, a, he needs some HP items, something. It looks like he's... Okay, he skewed up the Lincolns. He needs something to be able to protect himself versus that burst from mid one. I mean, you know what real men buy? They buy the blade mail. Do it. Late game blade mail. Catch bib one off guard. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> blade mail sniper. <laughs> Mass blade mail. Let's go. <laughs> just force yourself into the action. Picks up a gem for the boys. He's a team player. 
I mean, the vision has been really hurting them. Like every single time, it's they yeah. can see Ramses or like that situation there where Rubik's able to get that quick lift. 16k gold lead. 16k gold lead for Secret. Experience pretty much evening out. But that, I mean, that really does have to be worrying for Secret though. You have that sort of a lead. You get the Monkey King out of the game for two minutes, but you can't take any more objectives. That that's got to be ter you know, that's not good news for a team that's meant to be ahead of this stage. Unable to push even against four heroes. That's the I mean that's yeah sniper yeah. sniper in a nutshell versus in the high ground and Lincoln Sphere is going to be finished up soon. Where's the keep his courier? He's dead. Let's see. Is it dead? I don't know. Why oh, didn't it only have the timer at the bottom right when it's dead? I don't know. I can't find it, dude. Where's the curry? I mean, I guess they had to, to borrow a few more in turbo. Oh, right? there it is. Oh, there it is. It just respawned. It did die. Oh. Okay. I guess they were trying to maybe recover a gem or something with it, and it got picked off. So now no one does have the Lincoln Sphere finished up. Ramses. What does what he, uh, he grab at 25? So with the extra range isn't on Sniper, or did you get... What, for Sniper? You get the... Yeah, yeah the, the extra range. range. Yeah. The strip, six shrapnel is... Decent, but I think in this one he needs to be able to distance himself in the fights. Yeah, with B, especially. And high ground defense. Yeah. That's really good. So, how long for the buyback? Oh, two minutes. Hash is going to look for some solo action. He's found Yapsor. Yeah, and he's actually a little scared, as it seems. Just dancing around with the Rubik. And uh, yeah, he's just checking for more. He's like, Are you really alone here? And uh, the answer is no. Oh, God, they're going to scout him. Yeah, the rest of Secret are in. He should be able to get the blink off after the ultimate. He'll send Yaps up again, and indeed, quick with the blink. Oh, into the trees. What? Oh, they have to use the sleep. Oh my god, I thought he was going to get away there for a second. Oh, yeah, he's not getting away. We got the primal split steal. And that is Pasha. He's not got buyback. 100 seconds down. There is no song. It was, a, it was a neat He nearly made it away. I said if that song wasn't there, getting himself hidden behind the creeps, making it very hard for the. The mid one to get an arrow connection, but dead for a long enough. time though. Now they don't yeah. have a good way to remove the guardian angel off. Oh, Ramses, get yourself out of that. They can nullify to remove the GA, but that's only off of one target. So no dispel coming out from that wind panda. And now they're going for the high ground. Oh, the arrows! arrows. Watch out. Yeah, you absolutely do. We've got to have some fast foot here. Yeah, he absolutely gets the lift. He does. He he the split. Final split. Yeah, he gets the stun. They've got a lot of magical burst. The Graves out there, preemptively from Lil, just to make sure that no one doesn't get completely nuked out. Ramses moves forward with the Wukong's command. This will force Secret to back off. Just using it to hold back this siege that's being attempted by Secret, buying time for VP to get the roster back together. Fada comes back in. They know they've got a bit of time to play over again. Yapsor with a crucial grab. Looks to Ramses. There's not the control they need, though. Someone's dying the Glaives. Oh, he is. And a dag on from mid one. Takes down another. No one moves forward, though. Look at this peeping. Onto Puppy. He's Link's got. Up. The Maelstrom price is enough. Jump back in. Ooh, Lincoln Sphere protecting him from the E Blade. Tier 3 tower was claimed. Living on the edge here. Shrapnel stolen once again. Mid one went for Kaya as well, by the way, before, so he does have that extra spell amp for the build that he's going to use. Next is the Octarine on the docket for Full magic. Marana. Yes, great magic. What does he drop for the Octarine, I guess? What did he just put the bots into his backpack, do you imagine, when he's when he's got it? I don't know. He's going to be switching items out quite a bit. He's going to have to by the, by the pace that this game is going. What are level 25 do we got? So it's Luna. Anything is dying. What did you get on the Omni? He's not 25 yet. Okay. Luna is 25% lifesteal. Omni, you've got the what? The heal and the repel duration. Oh, you Ral take could be the pretty heal, nice. surely. But oh. Repel could be pretty nice this game. She's 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, but I mean, Luna's got a BKB anyway, so. You know what no, I mean? No, she does. I mean, she's been putting. Now she has one. She just bought one. Yeah, yeah, she only just got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. That's true. So, you know, I don't, I mean, the purification, that's a lot. It that is, is a, lot. a lot of heal. She doesn't have Octarine. A lot of that. Yeah, he's going refresher. Okay, we'll see. I think both of them, I'm, I mean, both are pretty solid this game. So the repel can be pretty damn useful. Yeah. Isn't in order to like repel somebody yeah. up GA afterwards, so it can't be removed, and, and then the GA can be very effective. Mid one on the high ground here, invis. Oh, hello, goodbye. Asha just insta splits. Yeah, has to force it out straight away. He's on the hunt with the wind panda, seeing if he can get a grab. A secret, they're grouped up. Back to way. BP coming out of the base. 20k gold lead. I mean, it's, it's an incredible amount of a lead, but as we're seeing, that lead does not tell the whole story because look who's at the top of the net worth. There's only no one on his sniper. Yeah. What's the final items coming up for Luna? I thought I saw double, but okay, so he's going to go for double butterfly. Double? 
evasion stacking since there's no 100% way to get rid of evasion anymore. KB is not like that anymore. And he gets the bonus. And I guess it's, uh, I mean, what well, once, once he gets that, what, it'll swap, swap out with the boots? Because then, I mean, you've got a lot of Agi, yeah, you know, I with the 707. So. You've got the Flutter to work with. Yeah. Even better now, as it doesn't remove that evasion. Yeah. And the DD is inside yeah. the bottle for Ace right now. He pops the DD. Oh, the they are indeed. Looking to lead him with the Moonlight Shadow. There's a sentry up on the high ground. Telekinesis looks to pop the Lincolns. No one pops the BKB straight away. Passion coming in with the pro looking for the promise bit, but the song is out. No one just continues to fight through it. Now, BKB has ended. Secret, they've got to seriously consider how they want to take this fight, especially with Ace's own BKB running low. Ace, Ace used the Satanic too. It's a Satanic and BKB. Yeah, been, they have to wait for that to come back. They wait can't fight like that. They do still have the DD. They have to be careful in these type of situations when BP hitters have the high ground advantage. Solo though, getting bursted. Grave, not needed, but he does. I don't know if the team can save this now. one yet. Telekin, he's straight into the arrow. Solo's gone. Rush back up yet? Not yet. They have so much percent amp on the spells too with the Rubik no field. Mid ones. Yeah, Rubik damage plus. does so much. Yeah, this spell damage. Oh, Ramsey's in Pasha. Outside of the base, Pada. Actually going in for some action. They put down the Wukong's command. Secret have to get out of this one. They can't fight under that. Man, every time they pop these ults, Secret just bails and they can't seem to catch anybody. Wukong's command and Primal Split expended this time around. I mean, what is that's the thing. What is the catch? Boundless Strike and Fire Blast. That's, that's about it yep. from, uh, from their lineup. No one. Inka popped again. BT does not have two of their big ultis right now. They have to back up to the base. No sorceries avail. Solo will be back. Solo's doing... He's doing solo things. He's just carrying Salves around to be that, that global fountain for his teammates. Salves late game now, too. Remember, Salves are very powerful. They do work a lot better on those. What's Ramsey's doing with his gold? He finished the Silver Edge earlier, and then he's just been sitting on yeah. 5k. And now the smoke comes out with Weave. They know that the Roche is going to be spawning soon. This is a very crucial moment. Ace actually changing his mind as well. Goes for the Scardi instead of the second butterfly. Okay. Tank ability. And here we have it. Looking for the lead in straight away. They jam and immediately take out Yapsor. No one turns towards the illusions. They are going to find Puppy trying to get the odd out, but the BKB is there for no one. Has he got enough damage before the BKB is Puppy? He's the cheese. Back up to full hell. Still got the stun. They're chasing him here with the Brew Panda. Roche's up in 20 seconds. Arrows out. No one has left this. I mean, Ace, no. does he want to try and burst this? He is going to get held back by the Panda. They jump in, they get the nuke down onto the Dazzle. Dazzle gets the Grave off in time. Ramsey's now popping the Wukong's command. Secret out to be careful, trying to fight up in it, but Ace puts the BKB moving forward, trying to mount up. But look how much armor this Monkey King has under the Wukong's command. You cannot man fight the Monkey and his ult. They have to ban back up. The nullifies down onto Ace. No chance for any sort of Satanic or any way to react to that as Luna's down and Ramsey's isn't done. Jumps up to the high ground, assassinate out onto Puppy, but the magic. Burst is doing it. Mid one turns, nukes it down low. He gets the balance now. Can they keep Ramses alive? They forced him away. Father's trying to chase, coming in, chasing him down with a repel. But Ramses, he gets the Jingu back up. He's got the life steal. Man's up against Father. Father's muted by the nullifier. No items to save this man. He's gonna go down. Ramses is still alive for now. Moves back, grabbing the illusion rune, oh. but finally gets taken down. Ace will be able to finish off the kill on the monkey. That was what three buybacks coming out from Secret. It yep. was indeed. They're going all in for this push. Ramses does Roche. have buyback. Roche is up. They, they, if they can get that and get the push on, it's going to be absolutely huge. We'll see it again here. It's so hard for Secret to fight in this Wukong's command, as we saw. You see for a moment Ace attempting it, but with that boosted armor, this monkey is just pretty untouchable. Was he, he looks like he's weaved as well, right? So he was getting even more armor on top of that. But now it is Secret who is going to be able to get this Refresher Shard coming out from this Roche. So who does Secret give it to? Mid one actually finds a solo kill on Pasha in the meantime. Oh, that's the gem as well. With a, he went Refresher Orb actually to have the double dag and double Ethereal Blade. Oh. Alright. So who took it? It was Puppy who takes the cheese as well as the Refresher Shard okay. for those sleeps. Double song on Pups. Could be nice. Could be just what they need to break the high ground. They're looking for the Courier here. Mid one. It gets well, he, healed. He gets it. But he does. Oh. Wait, what? He lives. I think that's what the uphill miss was on the last yeah. attack. But yeah. Lil used his shadow yeah. wave to heal it up, though. That was pretty sick. All right. Oh, Daedalus for no one. Going full in on the damage. He needs to be that turret now. He really Boost. does. Boost, he's, whatever. He's, he's got to just gotta stand his ground. Oh, my God. 
goodness. This game, a brilliant way to end a day of some fantastic Dota 2. Ridiculous. What are level 25s did we just get? So we got 75% spell lamp for stolen spells by Rubik. Ooh. Okay. But what can you steal that is gonna get spell lamp? <laughs> don't wait, uh, mate. Don't, 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 don't write off the the late game poison touch. I'm telling you. 75% amp on that beauty. Pretty damn good. What about the Omni? What did uh, what did Fada go for in the end? Or is he not quite there? What was that one? Oh, okay. He, you're right. Fada does go for the repel. Does go for the repel. Okay. I think this game. I was confused for a second. I was clicking on Yapstar and I was like, wait, he has a 15.4 second cooldown on Telkinesis. And then the cooldown, the 25 is minus 15 seconds. I was like, wait, so Telkinesis goes to port four, but then he had an arcane rune. I didn't notice the arcane rune. <laughs> wait, but even so. No, I mean, it's still going to be very low, but. Yeah, oh yeah, well, it's yeah. 22 the seconds normally, after, right? yeah, it's usually after seven second yeah. uh, cooldown that it drops down to on the Telkinesis from the talent. So refresher shard on the Omni Knight being switched up, so double Guardian Angel. Okay. And he does have the Aghanims finished up too for that global and 10 second duration on the Scepter. Wait, that was the Refresher Shard from Poppy, I guess. Yeah, he, he gave, gave it to Pada. Okay. Is everyone, is almost everyone's... Okay, 22 and 22 on Naga and then only solo. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Ramses and I'm, I'm telling him. It's time to get that Rapier, boy. If you want to win this game. He's got to hold on to buyback. I mean, if you're getting an Arapia, there's no buying back from that loss, <laughs> you know, that's, you, you go all in. I mean, arguably at this point, they don't need it, because as, as I've been saying, you know, for the last 20 minutes, VP have been holding this game despite being a, you know, a, a hovering around this 20k net worth uh, loss. Does not seem to be bothering them at all. No, mid one just waiting for the refresher to cool down. We can go for those big solo kills, because I'm out of burst potential. I'm not doing the math, but it's a lot. He can burst pretty much anybody with all this with that. How much spell amp does he have? 30% spell amp. And that is what when the Rubik's not near. When yeah, they, when the Rubik's not near. When the Rubik's taken down their magic resistance. Ethereal Dagon, double yeah. Ethereal Dagon, double Starfall, or I guess you could say almost triple Starfall because the Refresher plus Agonims. I like this as well. Yeah, you have so we're also queuing up the Dagons. Yeah. If they can just mass Dagon the E-bladed target. Yeah, I mean, no, no one's only sitting on 2200 HP. Yeah. So minus 65's primal split cooldown was picked up too, so. On top of that AC for Pasha. Durable. So. Trying to get his jump. Arrow will connect onto the. Not gonna let to jump up to the high ground yet. Just on a, a dazzle stun. They need something more than that secret. The creep wave coming in, but look at the speed that no one just clears the wave and the illusions away. Sleep comes out. They're looking for that jump. Can they fight it? Fight it. We'll walk in and take the tower. They're just going for the tower. They are. They put the BKBs, but straight away the fortification comes out. Primal split. They're focusing Ace. Ace, he's trying to mount up with the Eclipse, but he's surrounded. He's taken down. He'll lose the Aegis. He's down once. Can they do it a second time? Mid one jumps forward, does manage to get the combo out onto no one, nukes him down with the magical burst. They manage to hold back the Monkey King with the Yule Scepter, getting. And he's back to safety. There's the arrow connection onto Solo. If they can kill no one a second time, get rid of that pesky sniper, they could end the game, but it's a big if. The grab's there onto Pasha, but VP they're chasing out of the base. Mid one goes in again. This time with the combo onto Solo. Burst down the Ogre Magi. No one chasing. Looking for Fada. Gets the kill. Ramsey's at the vision on the high ground. They Another found split. Puppy. Puppy also in trouble. Puppy's down as well. Double kill for no one. He's found, he's found mid one too with the second split. Oh, can he's they, ace, sorry. Can they close this gap? He's a little far away by the looks of it. They've got to look back to the base. It is the base in trouble. Ace trying for the TP out with the BKB. Isn't going to make it. I mean, I almost felt a held off there. Went for the assassin out. I wonder if he just right clicked him. He might have had a better chance. He does a, he does a lot of damage. I don't think he would have been able to kill him. Nah. Luna such okay. high armor plus that evasion. Fair enough. So that was the, the refresher shard Omni Knight ulti. Yes. But the... You see the Panda Dispel coming into play there again, removing that Guardian Angel, but they did yeah. claim the mid racks, they claimed the bottom tower, and Oof. there's no tier 4 is now protecting VP's base. They are very open. Monkey King bar complete for the Monkey King. 60 minute game, one of the longer ones we've had here at Dream League. Yeah, I think one of the longest ones, especially on this patch. And can VP really turn it around? That is the question. I mean, they're, they're certainly giving it their all, and it's not looking to be impossible for them. They are. 
Pasha is actually surviving these super positions. crucial for these fights though. That dispel on the Guardian Angels really needed for them to actually take anybody down. And BP, I think they're feeling the pressure. They're like, if this happens again, we're gonna get mega creeped, and then we have to. They can fight megas, but they don't want to do that. No. And I mean, Puppy doesn't have buyback. No one picks up a refresher, so he's gonna have that double BKB. Yeah. This is the time for VP to try and push the issue, to try and do something magic in this mid lane. Straight up to the racks. Arrow, solo tanks it again. Jump four from mid one, he's looking for the combo. It's not quite enough in oh, fact, mid one. He just gets melted. Oh, just indeed, you've got to respect this punch that no one is packing from his sniper. Stolen Bandly Strike, they get the mid one buy back out. They'll, they'll certainly be happy with that. BP, it's just a question if they want to try and get more. Mid one, spy back on cooldown. Same to be said for no one. They will back away, VP. Not wanting to fight with the full five mana secret backup. They know a good song from Puppy could set up for a pretty nasty team fight yep. for VP. Mid one has to be careful if he dies. Yeah. Ramses. Thinking about going in there with the Silver Edge. Dude, I can't believe Solo still has only 1800 net worth at 60 minutes. <laughs> I'm in his solo, you know. So. I mean, uh, yeah, but that's pretty damn fun. <laughs> He's just finished his tranquils, bless him. 61 minute tranquils, that's a new record for solo. They, they're buying him tomes, him and Lil. They're buying all the tomes and knowledge to try to give them the, to their buddies. Look at that on the hero levels. Look how many 25s we've got on solo. He's, he's a little bit behind on the level 70. Oh, Lil, that's greedy. Oh, that was greedy, Lil. That was very greedy. Now there's an arcane rune. And Fada grabs that one. Now they're moving in for more. Look at this, Ramses. Nullifying Puppy moving in. And there's the, there's the control. Raps was able to throw him up with the Yule Scepter, hold him back. Assassinate not enough to finish your Puppy, but VP they're chasing. Buyback from Lil. They want to go full on this fight. The Moonlight Shadow comes through. Ramses looking towards Ace, but Ace pops the BKB. The Eclipse. The arrow connects onto Solo. Ace trying to man up against Ramses, but now with the Wukos come on out. Ramses has so much armor. He should win this fight. The Graves there. Ramses survives. Ace is the deck alone with Yapsaw. Puppy pops the song. But it's a little late. They've already lost two secret. And they've got to try and get the rest of them out. Puppy looking for the TP. He will make it. Mid one seeing if you can get a snipe with his magical burst on the sidelines. There's it, Manning up versus a, it's a monkey king. In, when you're in the middle ring, yeah. that middle ring, you have five monkeys hitting you plus the monkey king. So it's just way too much damage. And, you know, that 20 bonus armor from Wukong's command plus Weave, it's just too much for them to deal with. But that was a buyback there from Lil, but definitely worth it for that fight. Damn. Now level 25, he's got the extra 0.5 Weave armor per second, which can play a little bit of a factor. Puppy about to hit level 25 as well. Oh, no one. He's out. Quick draw. He senses something. He's got to run. He's got to be careful. BKBs. And I'm at him. He's got a refresher as well on no one inside of his backpack. BP, the they're looking to get on the aggressive here. They know they that the really clip are. is on cooldown. Ramsey's coming in. If they can get Ace to buy back, Radiant's that would be... The clip's on cooldown too, so... Here we have it. They bring this tower down so fast with all the auras as well the bloodlust. And they can't stop this. At least that's how it seems. Four man weave comes out oh, defensively. There's still a tier two up on the top lane. Yep. So that will be at least something for secret, but a second set of ranks down. Mid one really has to be careful. The two souls have that range to the mid lane. Yeah, VP are out. There's a DD room bottom. Roshan is back up as well. Level 25. So uh, what's the 25 status overall? Who's not 25 still? Well, Solo, it's, obviously. It's Solo Just and, Solo. and Puppy. Oh, and Puppy. Puppy's about to be, though. Puppy's about to be. When was the last time we saw a game where everyone hit 25? That That's not something you see every day. Nope. Moonlight I mean, and it may be something that we don't see this day, because yeah. Solo is still indeed quite far so, away. Moonlight Shadow comes out. There's a DD on no one. So his damage is through the roof now at the moment. Oh, you want to get the hell away from that one. And, oh, arrow the catches. arrow! It catches him. He's dead! He gets no, bursted! Bye, He's gone for two minutes! VP, they try to run, but Secret, they're looking for the chase. They'll surround Solo. They've got the root Solo down as well. No buyback for Rogan. No buyback for Sniper. The Dagon pickup from oh, Yafstar as absolutely well. There's so that... much burst damage coming out from him and mid one. Mostly mid one. Can they realistically hold without the Sniper? There's a refresher picked up on Ramses. He has to do something incredible with the double Wukongs, the double BKB, the double Nullifier. 
What can he make happen? Here we go. Yapsdor leads in. Telekinesis straight away, but the pressure. He gets the promise spread out. Ramses gets the Wu coach. They turn towards Fada. Refresh your pop by midborn. GA comes out. Fada's able to walk it off. Song's pop. Ramses falling low. He needs to get that second chance. He's got the refresher back in his inventory. If he can get that out, maybe he could have a shot at this. He's kept himself alive by the dazzle, but it's not enough. Ramses is down. He'll buy back. But there's still 70 seconds with no, no one. Ramses looks to move in, but indeed, GG well played is called Secret. Oh my God. Finally clean up the game. They get the 1-1 one, one from this series that they were looking at game one. But what a hold from VP. And what a game they draw that out to be. But Secret do it. They Mid get the victory. Mid one's magic build was... It's, I think we're going to see more players do that one. Good. Especially with the Rubik. It's just such a nice compliment to, yeah. to each other. And, and it's... As we saw, it absolutely 65 minutes in. It's, it won them the game effectively, just yep. getting that quick kill.